So I wondered to myself, is there a way to monitor the supervolcano? We've seen evidence from space that Antarctica is a ring of fire of itself surrounding a giant supervolcano. And as the earth displaces more water and the salt becomes more confined and the water's salinity, it changes, the earth's temperature will definitely change. The old ways of movement for lava were tunnels that were gradual underneath the earth. Like a worm burrows, so does the volcanic masses that go through the earth and tectonic pressures can slow down that. However, when you give a large squish from the radius of which spins the greatest of the center of the earth where the oblongation occurs, then that squish itself will have to push someplace. And if it does push at a place like Alaska, or it pushes at a place like Antarctica, because those, those are two really good outputs for it, we could be looking at something extremely devastating. Under Alaska is a boggy marsh that could catch fire and burn for years and years if it got extremely hot or it had volcanic activity. And if Antarctica drops its lid and blows a hole for the itself, then we could be looking at a lot of water. We need to take a serious look at everything that has the ability to stand and die if it gets two feet of water on it. Otherwise, if we don't take accountability for those people in those areas, they will be washed away. We must learn more about ourselves before we abandon this place. We have better chances learning about ourselves than trying to find out about a dead planet that doesn't have the ability to keep us alive.